You ready? Yep. Hello, Chief Evans here at NRD Atlanta, and we're going to talk about remote depths for a second. So first of all, when you have a remote depth set up and the classifiers have said that the documentation's posted, they're going to post it in one spot up here in Pride under the reenlistment document section. And you'll open that up and pull the document down. Now what you're going to get though, you're going to get DD Form 4 at a minimum, and you're going to get this pre-enlistment interview check sheet that is provided by MEPS. They go ahead and fill this out. This has all the screening questions that they're going to have. They're going to sign it, and then the recruiter's going to sign it. Now, before you give the DD Form 4 over to the officer, take out the last page. That is for shipping day. What you're left is, is the first one, two, three pages. The front should be filled out completely, one, blocks one through eight. Don't be surprised if this says Naval Reserve regardless of an active or reserve contract, because down here, that's when it says that they ship off for or active contract and for how many years. Blocks to be considered is that there's gonna be an Annex A, there's gonna be a none in the remarks. Then they initial this bottom page, verifying that all this information is correct for them. They'll also initial this page that they read the fine print. And then finally, this is our last page. After they swear in, they're gonna sign in block 13 Bravo. They're gonna sign in block 18 Alpha and make sure their name is up here at the top of block 15. The section for 14 is gonna be signed by MEPS when it gets back to us. And then your officer will fill in his information here and the applicant or now future sailor will initial below where the officer was. Upload all those documents back into the original spot and then that's the start. The only other form that we're really required to have is DD Form 93, but that's a separate training because you need some help.